Currents. This is the condition of scuba diving that some divers are afraid of, while others love to be in there. This is also a condition that can be dangerous or that can make your dive interesting and amazing. And this is also a condition for that divers are willing to travel to far away famous places, and then can happen to any diver in a calm dive spot too. Hi, we are Retro Divers, a dive center based in Komodo, Indonesia. Komodo is famous of their currents and diving in currents, so we were thinking about uh, let's talk about current. But we don't want to uh, scare you and uh, tell you uh, any horrible stories. We just want to share uh, some useful information and our experience and uh, let you to be safe and uh, have an interesting diving uh, when you are face uh, to the current. So this is for you. If you are a young diver, if you've just finished your open water course, or maybe you've been diving for a long time, but you're still afraid of currents, watch this video until the end, so you know what to do when facing currents. And also, follow us for more diving and traveling tips. Click the like button, subscribe to our channel and our social medias. All the links are down there in the description. And stay in touch. Let's go! So why at all do we dive in currents? Well, you could end up as a diver in diving with currents for several reasons. If you like to dive with pelagic fish, for example with sharks, you will dive in currents, since sharks love them. Some dive destinations that are famous for their rich marine life, among those also common to, by the way, quite often experience strong currents, thanks to which, in fact, the variety and the big amount of marine life can develop and grow. Some of the underwater creatures we can only meet in currents. For example, the sunfish, also known as Mola Mola, likes to live in currents and mostly in cold ones. Brrr. Or you get caught unexpectedly because of the nature. How to recognize currents? Here are several options. First, by looking at the surface of the water. Check first whether your boat you are diving from is on the anchor or on the mooring buoy. Is it tight at the bow? Then the boat will face into the current. Is the mooring line tight? then it might indicate a moderate to strong current. Observe whether there is some water movement. You can also throw a line or something in the water and watch it moving. Do not throw rubbish, ok? On some dive spots we jump in the water with our masks on and observe the fish. If there is current, all fish will face the current. A second, listen to the briefings. All dive guides, ok, most of them, yeah, want to make your dive enjoyable and safe. So, if there might be current, the dive guide will brief you about it and discuss the dive plan with you considering the current. And third, under the water. You can notice the current by observing the sea life and the underwater landmarks. For example, by observing whether you are moving along the reef or whether your terrain is changing or whether the soft corals are leaning to one side or the fish is behaving differently or by observing the bubbles of the divers. Where do they move to? But you don't have to be afraid of current. Uh, quite often uh, the most interesting and memorable dives were exactly in such conditions. Uh, it's better to know uh, what to do and be ready. So let's continue. There are different types of currents. Currents can be caused by tides, winds and density differences in water masses caused by salinity and temperature variations. Currents usually run horizontal, but in certain situations they can be up currents or down currents, so-called washing machine currents or vortex currents. The last ones actually happen in certain dive places only. Recreational scuba diving normally happens to be as drift dives. Drift dive over the reef. This is the most relaxed one when you go with it and you can have a nice and calm flight or well, drift over the reef where you don't need to kick with fins and can just enjoy and watch the movie. A more extreme drifting will mean a stronger drift dive. In that condition you usually don't have the possibility to observe the creatures as the flight is exciting in itself. You don't try to watch the landscape but enjoy the movement itself, the speed and the adrenaline. And luckily there are such dives, it's here in Comdo. One of them for example is called the shotgun. 
and there are dives when you would not be able to stay in one place without a safety item. In such conditions, divers usually use a reef hook and witness the pelagic action when pelagic fishes are hunting for schools of fish. Dive sites with such strong currents quite often arouse admiration and leave lasting memories. If you get caught in one of these currents, always stay vigilant so that you can enjoy the thrill of flying over the reef. So, how to stay safe when diving in current? Listen to the briefings. There is no substitute for experienced local knowledge of your guide and follow the instructions underwater. Being equipped appropriately will help you a lot. We'll always carry at least an SMB. Preferably each diver of your dive group has got one. And if allowed and needed, use the reef hook. Other safety items that can draw attention might be useful for dives in currents too, for example a whistle. Take care of your briefing. Try to keep natural briefing to conserve air. Don't panic, stay calm, think and then act. Always check your depth, nitrogen level and the left air in your tank. Sometimes a down current comes little by little and you don't realize it until you check your gauge. If you are drift diving, float along and let the ocean do the work for you. Do not kick with your fins as it will increase your speed. In case you notice the current before you are caught in it, you can hide using the underwater reef and objects. Stay close to the bottom or reef because the currents get weaker closer to the harder surfaces. Be a safe and a friendly diver. What we mean when we say use your reef hook is that you attach it to a rock and not to a coral. Pay attention to not climb on the corals and don't break anything. Most important, evaluate objectively your level of experience. A good judgment and knowing how to recognize different types of currents will help you to be prepared. There are difficult dive sites, difficult also because of the possible strong currents. So there is no need to go diving there if you don't feel fit already here. We want you to be a safe and a good diver. That's why we share our advice with you here and offer dive courses and diving in our dive center so that you can grow as a diver, get more experience and learn from and with the professionals. That's all for today guys. If you need more diving tips, head over to our video 10 tips for better breathing. All our links for dive courses, common dive spots, etc. you'll find in the description below. Share your passion for diving with us. Ask us questions. Join us in our social medias. Stay tuned. Uh, have some exciting and safe dives in Komodo. See you underwater buddies. Bye! Bye.